All right. Is it 7.30? We have it. Yeah, okay. People are coming on. Okay, Hayom Yom. There is really nothing to say in today's Hayom Yom, and that's what the Frida Kedabe actually tells us, because today's Yom Yom, 11 Cheshvan, uh, at this point there appears in the Hebrew text emendations, corrections, uh, substitutions, uh, for Maimer my, my, in Torah or our next week's Parsha, in Parsha's Be'era. Uh, and as he says, this is only meaningful in Hebrew. In other words, if you're learning the Maimer and you're coming across these things, uh, there are certain corrections. Uh, then the Maimer, Pasach Eliyahu, very fundamental Maimer. I'm wondering if we could learn that in the Hasidus, so what? It's a very, uh, well, Thinking. The Maimer Pasach Eliyahu has also glosses by my father, that's the Rabbi Rashab, that he began writing in the winter of 5652, uh, 1891 to 1892. I'll say just one thing on this since it's 11 Cheshman in the Ochite of Rivka Emenu, that in, in this time we have a, a huge Eitz Rotson, a huge time that's designed from above for Rachel should stand up for her children and greet the Mashiach. And the, yeah, and these um, Maimorim, when you dig down deep into them underground, you find that is what these Maimorim are all about, how to move away the dirt, so to speak, and reveal the Rachel Amen or the underlying panemius of everything. And uh, so it's a day which is very auspicious for Anemia Satyra, as the Alter Rebbe will tell us today in today's Tanya. Yeah, lessons in Tanya. We're concluding the long letter that began with our questions on the Zohar, where the Zohar says that in the time of, uh, from the time of the revelation of the Zohar, that the Jews will live only on the tree of life from the fruit of the tree of life, and not from the tree of good and evil. And we asked a lot of questions about that, because ab we are absolutely, for 2,000 years of Birurim, trying to straighten out and separate good from evil. Now, that separation of good and evil, the knowledge of it is in the Kabbalah. The reality of it, on the ground, is today. And that's what uh, we're going to speak about and that's how to understand what the uh, what the Zohar said that in the future the knowledge of good and evil will be put to the side, so to speak, secondary or even eliminated, as we'll see, and only the tree of life will prevail. Lessons in Tanya, page um, one fifty two, and in Lakuti Morim. page Kuf Mem He. Yeah, this is the conclusion of that letter and that topic that we had just uh, reviewed a bit. Okay. Avul betseis ha-shechinim eklipis noiga. When, and now he's talking about these days. Kol habirurim, all the birurim have mevin mevara. And what does it mean? What's the, what's the state of that when this actually rolls out completely and the tree of life is the dominant factor. What's it like? It says that Shekhinah Maklip is Naga. When the Shekhinah goes out, <coughs> excuse me, from its sort of encasement in Klippus Naga, which that encasement in Klippus Naga we've been, the Alter have been calling Dalas HaShekhinah, the exile of Shekhinah. So this is talking about the Ula, the Ula of the Shekhinah. When the Shrina goes out from Klippus Naga, from the Klippus, after there is completed the clarification, rectification of all the sparks, and evil is separated from good. In other words, it's clear to everybody what's good and what's not good. And the choice becomes more obvious. 
there's still a choice. As we'll see, there's still an era of Rav uh, in this future time. But the manifestation of Kedusha, of the Eitzah Chaim, is clear. And there's, therefore, there's a separation of good and evil. He is Pordu in his clothing scripture. Now, he's Pordu called Pole Ovon. And they're separated out and scattered all the ones who are doers of evil. This is the language of the Zohar. And there's no longer a dominance of the tree and good of e and evil, meaning the mixture of good and evil, where it's not clear, right? That's Bir is lush and also clarify. Mavara Hilkasa, you clarify the halacha. So Birurim has a rectification, separation, right? On Shabbos, Bira is Asr, that's separating the bad from the good, and clarification. So in the time of clarification, when there's no dominance, no rulership, no prevailing of the tree of good and evil, but says when the good is extracted from it, from the evil, then our occupation in Torah and Mitzvahs, and we made it clear that the, uh, the involvement in Torah and Mitzvahs doesn't stop. As if you remember that part that said, it, you can't understand the Zohar as meaning that we won't be learning Torah and doing mitzvahs because how will we know how to sharpen the knife for shechita? How will we know certain halachas like pigel, which uh, disqualify uh, a korban at the time when the Beis HaMikdash HaShlishi is rebuilt, right? So we will be involved in Torah and mitzvahs, but not levar birurim, not to separate out and to clarify. Kim liyachad yehudim. This is a good clicky expression you'll come across a lot. That in the future, in the future, there will not be about separation, but rather to unify unifications. Uh, unify, uh, mashal for the mashalim for this are when, you, when, a, when a couple is on vibrating together on the same wavelength. They're together. There's a unity between the two. There's nothing in between. Moments like that will be common, will be the average state in the future, whether it's in a relationship, a couple, or relationship with us and Hashem. Uh, other examples of this are when a, when a creative person uh, gets rid of his or her creative block, a writer's block, and things become clear. Everything bursts forth, and there's no blockage, no interference. These are just a couple of mishalim for what it means to make unities of togetherness, of unities, to unify unities. That will be the function of Torah and Mitzvahs. To unify to unify supernal unities, yeser, more than that. In other words, make continually more and more unity, more and more dissolution of any sense of separation. And in doing so, to draw down supernal lights, yeser, much more uh, deeper supernal lights, Atzilas, from the world of Atzilas. As the Rizal writes, and as the Rizal writes, as, as the Rizal writes, and all of this is accomplished through Penimius Atayra, learning the Torah of Hasidus, particularly Penimius Atayra. And we will be fulfilling the mitzvahs with their deep supernal kavanas. And we will all be directed to drawing down the supernal light. Right? Not to mavara, to get rid of the dras, but to draw down the light. That will be the occupation in Torah mitzvahs in this time. Kishoresh HaMitzvahs, because the Shoresh, the root of Mitzvahs, is not in, it's not rooted in the in the do in the do's and don'ts. It's written, written, as you should, rooted much deeper. The time of the Mitzvahs, the reasons for the Mitzvahs, are really totally above do and don't. As we've learned in other Sikhs and Maimorim of all of Rebbeim, that every Mitzvah is primarily a chayk, even though it comes down here below, in terms of do and a don't, and most of them are understandable, that if you 
do this, it's not going to be good. And if you don't do this, you know, things will be better. Or the positive mitzvahs, if you do the positive mitzvahs, that will be improved because it will separate the clippers, right? But in the future, that will not be the name of the game. The name of the game will be to draw down from the source of mitzvahs, lamay lamay la, up above, where we spoke about yesterday, the timing, the reasons, the taste of the mitzvahs, which is simply because this is what God wants. He wants the flow of energy coming from his deepest will down here through the process of Torah and mitzvahs. And that but in the future, what will be drawn down is the source of that of the, the, the mitzvahs, be'en soborachu, as the mitzvahs are rooted not in a tzilis, and not in the downflow of Seder Hestal Shilis, but in the Ein Sof himself. And what it says, that our sages have said, there's a mimer in, in the Gomorrah, Gomorrah Anida. It says, the mitzvahs betelim la'asid lavoy. There's an expression in the, mitz, in the Gomorrah that mitzvahs will be nullified in the future. So the Alter Rebbe clarifies, Hainu betechiyas ha'mesim. That's not talking about Yemais and Mashiach, but it's talking about the time of the resurrection of the dead. Avul, Yemais and Mashiach, in the time of the days of Mashiach, the time we're in, Koydim Tichiyas HaMesim, before the Tichiyas HaMesim, in Betelin, they won't become nullified. Lachem, since in the future, the Misfits will be about drawing down high levels of unity rather than separating away the negativity, Therefore, in the future, when we're involved in mitzvahs, the main thing is we're going to be involved in the panemius of the mitzvah. The panemius of mitzvah, where it, reaches, where it, where it comes from, lamai lamai la in the Ein Sof himself. The panemius of mitzvahs, with hamehem, and there we go, the, re the, the reasons for the mitzvahs, the taste of the mitzvahs, which is rooted way above. Today, we don't have an understanding of the reasons for the mitzvahs, or the tam, or the real taste of the mitzvah, right? It says, uh, Star mitzvah Baha'i al Malaycha. The, the, it's Aramaic. The reward of the mitzvah is not, in, is, is not in this world, it's in the next world. Now, that can be taken two ways. One, the usual way, when the soul goes up above, but also in the next world, in the next shlat, in the next uh, tekufa, in the next period, when the reward of the mitzvah, the time, the reason for the mitzvah will be exposed. And it says, the, the reasons which are now hidden will be revealed. That, the Tame of the Mitzvahs, which are now he, uh, hidden, Nistorim, in the future they will be revealed. Giluim v'yiduim, the call ish, Yisrael, to every Jewish person, v'yidia, with a knowledge, v'techila, at the outset, like an innate knowledge. We will have an innate knowledge of the Tame of Mitzvahs, what all of this is all about from Hashem's point of view, from the perspective of the Ein Sof itself. Bli Shechacha, and there will be no forgetfulness. It will be, you know, like a reflex action is built into your uh, anatomy, into your constitution. It's not something you have to remember or forget. So that in the same way, I guess, knee-jerk is the way they say it in English. There'll be, there'll be no reason, there will be no forgetfulness because it... it it always is that it, what the it the Ein Sof is probably part of our in essence, but in the future there'll be nothing blocking it, and as a result, it will be knee jerk. It will be intuitive. It will be instinctive, without any forgetfulness. and there won't be any need to get occupied in you know clarifying and trying to figure it out, except for the era of Rav. There will still be an era of Rav apparently. Who have not merited to taste from the tree of life, which is the inner dimension of Torah and Mitzvahs. And they will still have to occupy themselves in the Torah to weaken the Sitra Akhra. The Sitra Akhra is not going away, it just has no achiza in the future, no grasping on the Jew. It will still be it's still Dovik Behem, it's still clinging to them to the air of Rav. They will have to work on that clarification, either the Esek Torah, the way it is now. So that it shouldn't cling to them, to these sinners. But to conceive, as it's written in the Pasuk, 
in a shiaho, the hachoyte ben mea shona yekoilo, that a sinner through up to a hundred years will be cursed. There still will be sinners from the era of Rav, even at the time of Mashiach. And in, in fact, in the physical plane, they're still going to need to learn the details of halachas, is of a tuma, what's permissible, what's what's not permissible, what's tied down and what's permissible, what's tuma and what's tar. And they're going to need to learn this, Yosem Yisroel, more than the Jewish people, because as far as the Jewish people are concerned, there will be no more issue of what's puzzle and what's not, the tomb of Asa. Kiloya Aina, it says that Pasuk and Mishle, there will uh, there will not happen any sin to the Oya Aina. There won't happen, and the rest goes on, there won't happen any sin to the righteous, to the Jewish people. And it's also close, the thing is close, to be able to know Penimis at Torah, Kol Gufei HaTorah HaNiglis, all the Torah and all the revealed Torah. We've had this before, before modern Torah, we had Avram Yitzhak Yaakov and their Tzara uh, Rivka Leir, etc. Rivka Leir. They, the Chazal say about them, that they performed the whole Torah before it was given. And the question is asked, how could that be? Did Avram Avinu have fill-in, for instance? No, he didn't. But he understood, he had an insight into the tam, the reason of the thing, and he accomplished it in different ways, other ways. So that state existed by the uh, uh, by the avas and the imams, by the mothers and the fathers, like Avram Avinu, so we have a preview of that future way back in the past. And therefore, they won't have to do learn it because Avram Avinu acquired a relationship with Hashem where the into, where the uh, in, in, uh, where the deep intrinsic connection between him and God was living, breathing, and always present within him, and that's kind of the state. Right? That's kind of that is the description of the state that will be uh, as we roll into blessed love, like into the future. Hashem came in mind base Hashem at the time of the second temple, right? We were in the throes of the avoidus habirurim. They had to get involved in this stuff. Not just for halacha lemaisa to know what to do bilvad. It wasn't just just to know, and it isn't right today. Our knowledge of Torah in these last moments is not just to know the halacha, that's important, but what's the what's the knowledge of the halacha for? The knowledge of the halacha is the hatish kaya sitaracha, to weaken the strength of the sitaracha. With the ales and and to elevate the sparks of kadusha. This is a voidus of Birurim. Al Yidehatoya through our Torah and our service, Mishikosa Bimakamah is written in another place. The Akhar Hadavorim now he sums up this really the whole letter. At the beginning, you might have thought that from the time the Zohar was revealed, all of our occupation will only be the Panimi Satara. No. We've seen two thousand years of Birudim, Birudim, Birudim. Right? So after what we just said, the Devorim Emes, it will be understood, you even hate very well, the Paisvis Bir. Raya Mehemna through the addition of the explanation that we have given on the Raya Mehemna, that section of the Zohar up above, the Masha Omar, that what it said in the Zohar, that in the future, that in the future, the knowledge of the tree and evil will be secondary because the Avodis Habirurim will be over. That doesn't mean we will be abandoned, as we said, we're learning. As we said, we'll still have to know how to bring a Corbin and how to sharpen the knife, etc., etc. But the void of the, the, the involvement that we have in Torah mitzvahs will be leyachad yehudim to create deeper and deeper levels of unity. Ratzalema, so it means to say that in the time of before Yemei Mashiach, the whole deal was to get rid of the klipas neiger, to mavara the klipas neiger, shehu elam hazeh ha'ikar, which he says an interesting thing. Klipas neiger is the main whole deal of olam hazeh, klipas neiger. 
Shehu Oilam Hazeha Ikr. Klippas Noga is the root, the main deal in this world until the time when the Birurim are really in it, finished and we're in Yemoisa Mashiach. And we're in after that, even to Chiyas Amesim, Mishikosbi Eschayim, as is written in Eschayim, Vidal Lamevin. And if we've understood this well, it should be clear. And that's today's time. Yeah. You guys know when I when you see my finger going, I'm looking for a hand. Rivka, go ahead. Hi, Hello. good morning. Yeah. You there? Um Where? just one thing. When you're talking about the word Tom, the Tom mm. of the reason of the mitzvahs. Yeah. yeah. I would not use reason because and I think the consistency is that. You're talking about Tom, like a taste of, of the eights. Hachayim, it's something internal. It's talking about the, the an internal experience, not not necessarily an intellectual experience or something like that. It's a sense that... That's why just, it's a taste. Right, it's not, exactly. Right. That, but it, that's but not the, reason. It's more... It's more, it's it's, more it, it, you're, you're right. It's know. beyond... It's deeper than reason. Okay. Much deeper than reason. The real reason. You just know. You just got it. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the, that is the sense of it. Absolutely. Right. Right. Okay. That's all I wanted to say. Because. The... Yeah. And you get moments. You get moments, maybe. Well, now you we get moments. Yeah. Imagine if all those moments were the. That's the reality. The continuation. The continual. Continuality of that. That's the Liyakha de Yehuda. Always there. Always in the zone. Good. Thank you. Anybody else? All right. So we're just one step removed. One short step into Leosid Lovely. We'll take it, huh? We'll take it today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you. Sorry, Be a good day. A good day.